Well, good morning. My name is Adam Kilpatrick, and I'm the grassroots coordinator for the Alabama League of Municipalities. And I also want to thank you for the services that you provide to more than half of Alabama's municipalities. The League was formed in 1935 to be a voice for Alabama's municipalities. It was formed as an advocacy uh, organization, ensuring municipalities were represented at the State House and in Congress. We've expanded our mission throughout the years to provide workers' compensation, liability insurance, municipal financing, debt intercepts, education, training, and legal guidance. Each of these services were created to ensure that, our effect that effective resources are delivered to our members, which will allow them to offer quality of life services to their citizens. In order for our communities, its citizens, and businesses to prosper, community leaders must build a framework of services that meet their needs. Roads, clean drinking water, wastewater systems, broadband, education, health care, affordable housing, and the list goes on. Our organization accomplishes this through helping our officials build alliances within their, co within their communities to identify opportunities and challenges. I would like to give you an update on three initiatives we work diligently on at the League. First is the Economic Development Academy. Each of our municipalities are unique and recognizing this, three years ago we created the Economic Development Academy. The Academy was developed in partnership with the Alabama Community College System and is specifically designed to educate and engage municipal officials on the essential elements and phases of economic development. To date, we have had 45 communities graduate from this academy and several success stories. Tuskegee graduated from the academy in 2022 and successfully recruited Sam Key to join their community. This marked their first major project in many years, creating employment opportunities for over 170 individuals. The community has also benefited from the growth of the retail sector since their completion of the program. Fairfield graduated from the program in 2023. They have had success in revitalizing their downtown. They have also had an increase in retail recruitment since their graduation. Priceville also graduated in 2023. They were able to recruit an Ace Hardware store through the skills, resources, and tools they attained. The next initiative is the Alabama Communities of Excellence program. We also recognize the value of strategic planning and community development, which is why two years ago we brought the Alabama Communities of Excellence program under the League's umbrella. The ACE program provides technical assistance to select communities of populations ranging from 2,000 to 18,000 in order to strengthen their long-term economic success. To date, we have had 43 communities graduate from this program. The third initiative is our Live Locally Alabama campaign. Local government is the closest, most responsive form of government to the people. It is directly responsible for quality of life services such as police and fire protection, parks, roads, bridges, education, economic development, and so much more. Services that citizens not only expect, but demand. They are also the services that build vibrant communities where all citizens want to live work, play, worship, and where businesses want to invest. As our team travels this state, it is becoming very clear that few people understand the true value of municipal government. Unfortunately, when citizens and lawmakers do not understand the importance of local government and the quality of life services it provides, we find they have a tendency to enact harmful policies. And in some cases, despite all of our efforts, We've, we have come to realize that some people simply do not have an appreciation for the work that our officials do each day, which is why we launched the Live Locally Alabama campaign. The goal of this initiative is in to encourage civic engagement, instill community pride, and highlight the cru crucial role municipal government plays in the daily lives of Alabama citizens. Alabama is home to 465 unique municipalities. That's 465 opportunities and stories to be told. And who better to tell their stories than our local officials? Which is why the campaign will include messaging for our members to take lead on showcasing their municipality's uniqueness 
and the services provided to create a sustainable future for our citizens and future generations. If you are not a local official like myself, I want you to know that your involvement in this campaign is also valued. Community engagement is vital to success. So how can we, as the public, get involved? It's easy. Shop locally at stores in your communities, eat locally at your favorite restaurants, and explore locally by taking your kids to nearby parks and museums. Attend city council meetings and engage with community initiatives. By investing our time, money, and resources, we can make a positive difference in our community. It takes all of us, the league, our communities, the legislature, and the public. Working in unison to ensure that our cities and towns are prosperous and positioned to attract economic growth. At this time, I'd like to show you a video our team has put together. Where does Alabama start? Is it in the bayou or along the sandy white shorelines amid seafood and shipbuilders? Or maybe high up in Chiha State Park where the sun creeps through the trees? Maybe it's a sound like the revving of engines or a perfect drive on a perfect day. It could be in the rhythm of muscle shoals and generations of music history that feel close enough to touch. History, that could be a good place to start. After all, the stories that were written here still echo across the country. And the future? Well, we know a thing or two about reaching for the stars. Our world-class research institutions will help us get there. While our rapidly growing automotive industry is hard at work building a more fuel efficient tomorrow. And when they aren't, well, you can feel that in the electricity of a Friday night or the thunder of a Saturday afternoon. No matter where you begin, it all starts locally. The heart of Alabama is in the shop down the street or in the restaurant next door. It's in the atmosphere at the local market and in the joy of a favorite pastime. It's in the first responders watching out for all of it and all of us. It's even in the streets we use to drive to the parks and festivals we love. What makes it possible? Local government, a public service that keeps our environment clean, our cities growing, and our history and culture alive. But it doesn't work without us, all of us. So, where does Alabama start? It starts with you, locally. This video and so many other resources that will encourage you to become more involved in your community are available on our website at www.almonline.org. I want to close by thanking each of you for allowing me to be here today. And if myself or a team member at the league can ever be of assistance to you, please do not hesitate to reach out. And also, if you haven't had a chance to meet Miss Barbara Alexander yet, she's great for us at the league, and she keeps us together there. So. Thanks so much.